In this video, we will review the steps for setting up Duo multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, commonly referred to as MFA, is an enhanced authentication process that grants access using two or more pieces of information. You can think of these items as something you know, usually your account password, and something you have, commonly a smartphone app, a landline phone number, or a security token or key. So you might ask, aren't passwords good enough? Well, simply put, no, they're not. Passwords are easily obtained via phishing, and the frequency of these attacks, especially against universities, is increasing. In a recent JCU friendly phishing security assessment, almost 20% of JCU employees revealed their passwords. Even longer passwords are now easily cracked using off-the-shelf computers. JCU has chosen Duo Security, a leading provider of MFA services, to enhance our existing authentication platforms, including our single sign-on and Active Directory. This is to increase the security of our critical data systems and services. On January 26, 2021, Duo MFA will be required for all faculty, staff, and students when accessing John Carroll's Banner environment. Banner is our most critical data repository. Adding Duo MFA to Banner will also allow the publication of electronic tax forms and documents via the employee profile. Other SSO and Active Directory services will follow in the coming months. The Duo security setup process will be triggered the first time you access a John Carroll University service, which requires MFA. For now, this is Banner. Let's look at some of the most common setups for Duo MFA. We will begin with the smartphone app. Use of a smartphone is the preferred MFA method and provides the highest level of security. You will begin by accessing the service, in this case Banner, as you always do. You will be prompted for your JCU network username and password as normal. The Duo MFA setup will start automatically if you are accessing a service which requires MFA, as Banner does. You will see this screen. Click the Start Setup button to continue. In this case, we'll be setting up a mobile phone, so select Mobile Phone and click Continue. You will enter your smartphone's phone number. Verify that this number is correct and click Continue. Next, you will select the type of smartphone that we'll be working with. In this example, we'll be working with an iPhone, but Androids are equally supported. Press Continue. Now, take out your smartphone and download the Duo mobile app from either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Do not press the green button yet. On your smartphone, download and install the Duo mobile app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. This is an example from the Apple Store. When Duo mobile has been installed, return to your PC. Once you have installed the Duo mobile app on your smartphone, you can now press the I have Duo mobile installed button. Next, go back to your smartphone and start the Duo Mobile app you just installed. In the Duo Mobile app on your smartphone, press the plus button in the upper right. Your smartphone's camera will turn on. If you are prompted, allow access to your camera. Point your camera at the QR code, also known as a 2D barcode, displayed on your PC's screen. Duo Mobile will recognize this code automatically and register your smartphone. Confirm that the John Carroll Duo Protected setting is displayed. Smartphone setup is now complete. Return to your PC. Confirm the green check mark is being displayed and click Continue. Next, set the When I Log In Dropbox to automatically send this device to Duo Push. You are now set up for Duo multi factor authentication. Click Continue to log in to complete the login process using Duo MFA. This is the Duo MFA login screen. You will see this screen anytime you access a service which requires Duo multi-factor authentication. Click Send Me a Push to start the multi-factor login process. This is the Duo MFA login approval screen displayed on your smartphone. Before clicking Approve, always verify your user ID, your IP address and location, and the date and time you clicked Send Me a Push. If these items do not appear correct, do not press Approve. Press Deny. If you are ready to move forward, press Approve to approve the login. 
An important warning, if you are ever prompted for a Duo approval and you did not initiate a login, press deny and contact the ITS service desk. Someone may be trying to access your account. Never press approve unless you initiated the login request and your user ID, IP address, location, and login timestamp are as expected. Congratulations, you've successfully logged in using MFA. Now let's look at some alternate setups for Duo MFA. In this example, we will look at setting up a landline phone. Please note, a landline phone should only be used if using a smartphone is not an option. As before, you will log in to single sign-on using your user ID and password as normal. Again as before, we will press the Start Setup button to begin the Duo MFA setup. In this example, we will not choose mobile phone, but we will choose landline, and then press continue. Enter your landline phone number into the box provided. If your phone number requires an extension, enter it into the extension box. Verify the number is correct, and press the continue button. From the when I log in dropbox, select automatically call this device from the menu. Duo MFA for landline is now set up. Press continue to login to continue the login process. This is the dual MFA login screen when set up for a landline phone. Click call me to start the multi-factor login process. You will receive a phone call on the landline phone you configured. Voice prompts will walk you through the login process. And once again, you have completed the MFA login sequence. Again, an important warning. If you ever receive a call to authorize a dual MFA login and you did not initiate the login, hang up and contact the ITS service desk. Someone may be trying to access your account. Never approve a login unless you initiated the login request. Now we will look at setting up dual MFA for those with security keys. Once again, you will log in using your user ID and password to single sign-on. Again, we will press the Start Setup button but this time we will select Security Key and press the Continue button. This screen will walk you through enrolling your security key. Press Continue to start the process. Follow all on-screen prompts to set up your security key. You are now set up for Duo Multi-Factor Authentication using a security key. Click Continue to login to continue the login process. This is the Duo MFA login screen when set up for a security key. Click Use Security Key to start the multi-factor login process. Follow all on-screen prompts to authenticate using your security key. And again, MFA login is complete. This concludes this video on setting up Duo multi-factor authentication. Thank you for watching and have a great day.